It must have been something built in the interim time between Morrowind and Skyrim. Okay, they probably built all of it, not just the statue, but yeah, if they were able to carve this, like, huge immaculate statue of Amalexia here, I guess they were able to, like, carve all this stuff too. <laughs> just, could you imagine how fucking weird and scary that would be? You're just chilling in Ravenrock, and then all of a sudden, like, the Dragonborn comes by and frees you from Mirax, like, horrible grasp, like, horrible spell that's getting you to work on all these, like, totems and shit around the entire island. And then you look around to chat with everyone, you're like, oh, yeah, yeah, hey, I remember you from the fucking Wretched Nets, yeah, what's up, dude? Or, oh, yeah, I love to try your fucking ash yams next harvest, all that shit. And then you know, wait a minute, who are these other five people here? <laughs> When we had last left the last dragonborn, they were inside of the Dwemer ruins of Falthumbrusarge, where they were in search of one Kenro something or the other, and it was there that he was hoping to forge some weapon of immense power inside of a Dwemer forging facility. But... The last dragonborn put a stop to that by putting a stop to Kenro's very life. And upon slaying the man, they discovered the cool weapon that had yet to be completed and a missive that led to none other than a secret hideaway just outside of Ravenrock. Yes, a coven of cultists who had hoped to bring back the glory days of the tribunal from over a little over 200 years ago. And so in seeing this, the dragonborn thought... Why not? And decided to help them. <laughs> this is the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Welcome back. Boop. There we go. <laughs> Goodness gracious. All right. So we've got all of our shit here. Good to go. We've got all of our our quests ripping and roaring. Do we have anything else and to say to the matriarch? You need. Hmm? Hey. You need something. Okay. Sure. We'll do these tasks first. Such a shame we can't read this this book, right? Man. All right. Should we have a full tour of the place? Because we last time we tried to do that, we didn't really have the opportunity, right? Can we talk to him? Need something? No. I'm assuming they won't have much to say. Hmm? Vesparth the toe. Hmm. And what might you need? Hmm? I'm just looking around. Yes. I'm just looking around. Anything else? There's something you need. Not yet. Let's yes, do a quick so save I'm in case us exploring gets Gordon I'm to waiting. activate. And then that just ends up causing a whole heap of trouble. <laughs> okay. Anything else around here? Can you... Will you say anything now? And what might you need? Mm. Nah, nothing. Okay. Let's backtrack over yonder, over this way. Let's see here. Anything in this fun room? Oh my gosh, we didn't see this one before. Wow, they're growing yams in here. What else goes in these little rings? What could go here? Huh. I wonder what all you can do in this place. Oh, I'm so excited to fill it out, assuming you can. I don't even know. It looks like you can, but I have no idea. Maybe these are just meant to be here for decoration? Right? But if that's the case, if these are meant to be like, you know, places for deceased Dunmer ashes and all of that, it should look more like this, shouldn't it? Or am I tripping? I might be. I might be tripping some major balls here. We'll see, though. Okay. Anything else of interest? No? Okay. Let's head on out and over. There we go. Good. Alright. Even the lectern is very Morrowindy, you know? It's, it's the Morrowind-looking mm -hmm. fucking lectern. <laughs> it's so fucked up and weird that, that, that I can do that, that anyone can do that. It's, you have to acknowledge just how fucking strange it is to be able to look at a bookshelf or just a shelf and be like, oh my god, this is a Morrowind shelf. <laughs> what a fucking weird thing to be able to do. 
<laughs> How truly fucking bizarre. Or the chair and the table. I mean, they are. They really genuinely are. These are Morrowind-ass tables and chairs, but it's so fucked up and weird that, that you're able to be able to, like, tell. <laughs> It doesn't, like, there's nothing really that screams Dunmer about it, is it? It's just, it, it it's the model. This is just how they look. <laughs> I, I, like, I don't know how to explain it, but it is it is true. It's the case. All right, Sculptor Vistar. Yes? Do you have anything to say? No, you're just vibing. Okay. Let's get, uh, fuck it, why not? Let's activate the Shrine of Vivek. Blessing of Vivek added. Oh, I wonder what it is. Let's see. Blessing of Vivek. Prices are 5% better. Sneak is increased by 5. Okay. Huh. Alright. And how about so the Sill? It is... It's amazing that they do have power still, right? I wonder how many people believe... Still believe in the Tribunal as they were, right? Not in the Reclamations, but, you know, Elm CV. Mm -hmm. Because as, as we have read in one of the books, this is literally, uh, as it, well, posited, it is posited, right? Nothing really ever set in stone in Elder Scrolls, right? Such as uh, what the strength of the franchise, I think. But it's posited in one of the books, I forget what it's called, but um, deities and stuff also draw power, especially in death. They draw power from people just believing in them, right? There's a book that posits, like, if there were a ghost or whatever, that enough people came to worship and revere that that ghost could, like, ascend to godhood, could actually wield some sort of deific power, right? Something along those lines. Don't quote me exactly on that, but something along those lines to where, like, the more people that believe in so-and-so, such-and-such, it actually does give it strength, Right? in a spiritual sense. Anyway, Sothasil. Let's see. Probably smart people stuff, I would assume. Increases your Magicka by 10 points. Magicka regens 5% faster. Okay. Let's see, anything over here? Large sack, salt pile. Some Sujama there as well. You know what, I am going to take the salt. It's not stealing, is it? Yes, yeah, just free for the taking. Okay, should we refer to this journal? The Sculptor's Journal. The statue was my masterpiece. My one true love. Some say she is too large, too grand. But I would have made her a thousand feet tall if I could. For my love is a titan. And we are but useless worms <laughs> groveling at her feet. However, to sculpt a goddess came with... However, to sculpt a goddess came with no shortage of anxiety. The pressure I felt to chisel every line, hone every curve, and do so with exacting precision was almost too much to bear. But the end result was one I take immense pride in. These days the anxious voices in my head are no more. Instead they speak in a pat patois of ease. Is it patois? <laughs> Is that how you say that? Of ease and routine. I've fallen into a simple routine, making shrines with basic carvings in tribute to the three. A for Almalexia, S for Sothasil, V for Vivek. Yet it is risk that makes a sculptor an artist. It is daring that turns the ordinary into the sublime. I dared to sculpt a goddess once, as I chiseled away at these blocks of stone. Doing the same tired work, I wonder. Is it too late to be that bold again? Okay, I'll take your journal. Sure. Okay. You know, it is a very fun allegory as well. In Morrowind, lest we forget, especially with there in the journal, Right, him writing that he would have made her like a thousand times larger or whatever, the sculpture of Almalexi out front. Uh, it is also a very fun allegory and point of comparison for the immense and massive statue of Azura, right? And there's one here in, in Skyrim as well, right? There's one here. But uh, in Morrowind, there was one that was sort of 
um, in front of, I guess, not not directly, but in the area of roughly. We're going to see it very soon in uh, the Morrowind playthrough, actually, Morrowind Mondays, if you're watching all this as it's coming out. Um, but we're going to see it in Morrowind Mondays Volume 2, the gigantic statue of Azura in Morrowind. Man. And it's it's such an interesting it's it, well not really interesting but it's it's a fun it's a fun little comparison it's a fun contrast to how it was in Morrowind right what is this it is a mammoth tusk okay ebony dagger some money a black soul gem we'll leave that there just for it looking cool okay there's the matriarch's little something or the other a pole chain goes to who knows where okay let's do a quick save. Anything else? A flute? More junk? Wow, is this a Morrowind bed? Fucking A, it looks like it, doesn't it? I think it might be. I think this is a Morrowind-ass looking bed. Okay, sure. How about these books back here before we read that journal? Anything else? No. Alright. Matriarch, Matriarch Drevelin's Journal. When I first entered the great chamber, th I was there again, in the high chapel, nestled in her glow. Great pillars surrounded the stone where the goddess Almalexia once stood, as if it were washed in the fire. Mournhold had shed its skin to reveal a temple of rock and bone. I knew then that this stone was the heart of our goddess, and through faith, love, and sweat, we have restored her flesh. Now that she is almost complete, my thoughts turn to my old friend, Erden Ravel. Oh shit! We know of a Ravel. There is a very important Ravel in Morwen, and I believe they appear in um, ESO as well. But, or maybe it's a descendant of them, I can't remember. But the, one of the most infamously difficult creatures in all of Baseline Morrowind, in all of the core, well, not just the core game, but uh, the unmodded game, I should say, because it's in the Tribunal expansion. Uh, there is like a super lich called Gedna Relvel that you have to go through kind of a weird esoteric quest arc in order to even access. But regardless, she turns out to be like one of the hardest creatures in the entire game. Um, even normally, even normally speaking, but it's made extra difficult by the fact that there is a bug, uh, which is also not, I think, unfixed. It, it's not fixed by the popular Morrowind code patch. I wonder if it'll be fixed by OpenMW and all of that, right, when we get to it in Volume 2. But in Volume 1 of our Morrowind playthrough, um, Gedna Ravel, we fought, and the bug was in effect. And what it does is it makes it to where it's an infinitely scaling creature that you fight. So by the time we got there, this fucker had like shitloads and shitloads of health to where like we couldn't even hardly kill the the super lich or whatever because it just had that much health. And it had, I think it, it scaled damage slightly. I think we were, yeah, yeah, it scaled the damage because it's strength, I believe also scaled up i want to say i'm not sure it may it may not have scaled its its uh out damage output it may just be that it has a really high damage output regardless so what we had ended up having to do yeah i think i think it just had high damage output regardless we what we ended up doing is um getting our dodge chance over capped to where we couldn't be hit for a certain duration thanks to our our dunmer racial and then the only way that I could deal enough damage with the weapons I had with me and all of that, because, like, the w Morrowind, of course, has weapon durability, right? So if you keep smacking this creature, not only is this creature, I believe it has some kind of heal effect, some kind of heal over time that's ticking, um, but also you run the risk of breaking the shit out of your weapon. So it, what, the way that we ended up beating Gedna Ravel is by exploiting the game in our own way uh we just drank a shitload of alcohol and got so fucked up on booze that we were able to just 
like obliterate her, not in one shot, because I didn't even have enough alcohol for that. Uh, but I took like all the alcohol that we had gathered throughout the entire playthrough so far up to that point and put it right in that room and drank it all. And that was the only way we were able to defeat her. <laughs> it was so fucking wild. Anyway, shout out to anyone who remembers that. Fuck me. Fucking old Gedna Ravel. Anyway. Erdin Ravel. He was the diviner whose scrying brought us to this holy place. Without him, none of this would be possible. Yet time and toil changed him, to the point I questioned his devotion. Wherever he is, I hope he has regained his love for her. Regardless, our work does not end there. With her hands to guide me, we will rid this world of her dissidents. We will reunite the fires of hope and truth under her banner and theirs, and let the light of Alm Seavey shine on servants and apostates alike. Fuck! Oh, it's so juicy! Oh, it really is set up perfectly to be a cult of fucked up weirdos, isn't it? It's really just perfectly set up for me. Okay, what is in this incredible room? Holy shit. Oh, this is the same room from before. It's an overlook. Oh, wow. Oh, you can come up here and preach. Oh, I see. Look, there's some pubes as well growing out of the rocks there. Incredible. All right, Jazargo. Let's let's go mosey on over here and we'll close the rock door. Oh my gosh, it came down really quick. Hang on, let's see that again. Let's see how fast it comes down. Look, it's gonna just slam. Oh, damn, okay. That's powerful. All right, let's continue. Let's keep exploring this amazing place. I'm fucking loving it. All right, over here. Let's see. So there's the sculptor. Jeez, hey, you know what else is very more windy? These fucking tunnels, you know what I'm saying? Huh? We're getting a little lost in here. It's starting to look a little samey every which way we look. <laughs> very similar to a very large complex or like Morrowind dungeon, right? Pretty easy to get fucking lost in them. <laughs> okay, let's see. What else have we got in this room? I think we had seen some of this room from before when we were like flying our ass through here real quick. Yeah, this is like a training area or something. It's Oh no, they're burning bones in here. Okay. Are they actually... Are they smithing with this? Or are they using it as a form of cremation? Right? Which is, you know, a very dumber way of dealing with corpses and all of that, right? It's very traditional. Okay. Let's see. Which, of course it is in real life too, but, you know. Dunmer make a specific point of cremating their, their deceased and all of that. Okay, let's see. Anything over there? I guess it makes the the name Ashiam extra special. Never even thought of that. Okay, I guess we'll pull on this. We'll see what's in this room. Oh, I can't. Oh, something to come later, I guess. We don't... I don't know. We need a key or something to do it. I have no idea. Is there another pulse pull lever or pull... Handle switch thing? <laughs> I don't know what you call it. A pull chain? No? Okay. Sure. Look at all these beds. Wow. Makes me feel like I'm at the Balmora Mages Guild, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> these fucking beds and these, uh, like, uh, dividers. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Let's go on up here. Let's check this out. Good. Alright. How about over here? Oh! Who the hell are you? Oh, you're the priest! Don't I need to see you? Yeah, pick up the letter from Priest Drureth. I've discovered a temple- okay. The matriarch wishes to spread the word of the tribunal using propaganda. It seems Drureth, a temple priest, has the letter in question. Cool. Let's do a quick save. Flick on the lights. Oh, you've teleported. Okay. Sure. Yo, give me the prop. Make it quick. I understand you have some letters for Priestess Velothi to translate. Of course. Maybe you can help me. Deliver the propaganda letter to the translator. Let's see. I do like that that the uh, the Creation Club stuff is uh, is bold enough to be like, 
yeah, we are acknowledging whoever made this is like, yeah, I do acknowledge that this is a weird fucked up thing, that this is in fact propaganda. I played Morrowind and I know exactly what was going on, <laughs> right? I do appreciate that. All right, propaganda letter, let's see. A priestess Velathi, here is the transcript of the letter we found in the archives. Your expertise in this matter is required, as is your discretion. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's in Daedric. <laughs> All right, yeah, we need a translator. Right, of course. Okay, sure. All right. Let's see. What have you got in here? Some ice wraith teeth. Other weird shit. Red year, volume one and two. A bunch of junk. All right, sure. Butterfly wing. Cool. All right. Neat. What fun. Anything up this way? Around all this? No, I don't think so. Okay. Over here. No, nothing. Okay. Great. All right. Sure. Let's continue on. We'll keep looking around. All right. Over here. Oh, we're back in this room. I think we've looked everywhere then, haven't we? Right? If we've gone through this... I think so. Right? Am I mistaken? I think we've looked through it all. Let me double check through this one. Yeah, there's the... This is our... Yeah. The sculptor. Okay, great. So that means we've got it all. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. All right. Cool. Oh, look. If you stand back here, the lights are all kind of aligned, almost in a line. I wonder if it means something. I don't know. Yes. Okay. Let's see. So, deliver it to the Hootenanny. I guess we'll just track this one. Which should, yeah, it should take us out of here. All right. We'll pick up Gordon on the way. Good. Cool. Man, this is so fucking rad. I love this. All right. Let's get on out of here. Good. I wonder what this used to be. Or did they entirely build all this shit underground? I'm not sure if I remember there being anything in this part of Solstheim or not. Just north of Raven Rock? Yeah, I don't know. Huh. It must have been something built in the interim time between Morrowind and Skyrim. Okay, they probably built all of it, not just the statue, but yeah, if they were able to carve this, like huge immaculate statue of Amalexia here. I guess they were able to, like, carve all this stuff, too. Wow. How fucking wild. Alright. Let's go on up here. Good, good, good. Alright. Over this way. Cool. It's a wonder they didn't get affected by... Mirax mind control as well. <laughs> just could you imagine how fucking weird and scary that would be? You're just chilling in Raven Rock, and then all of a sudden, like the Dragonborn comes by and frees you from Mirax like horrible grasp, like horrible spell that's getting you to work on all these like totems and shit around the entire island. And then you look around to chat with everyone. You're like, oh yeah, yeah, hey, I remember you from the fucking wretched nets. Yeah, what's up, dude? Or Oh, yeah, I love to try your fucking ash yams next harvest, all that shit. And then, you know, s wait a minute. Who are these other five people here? <laughs> Come with me, Gordon. Come with me. Come with me. <laughs> How fucking terrifying. Like, you, it's out of the fire into the frying pan or whatever, or out of the frying pan into the fire, whichever way it goes. <laughs> you, you get out of fucking Mirax and... Uh, what do you call them? Uh, Hermamora's horrible mind control. Uh, phase, haze, fog. Yeah, there you go. And only to realize, holy shit, we're being infiltrated by some weird group of assholes that are with a different cult, right? Because <laughs> already it's cultists that bring you here. It's cultists, right? The cult of uh, the first dragonborn, so to speak, right? I think. Is that is that the technical name of their cult? I don't know. But another cult. Cults just love this fucking island. Man. All right, let's see. Let's do a quick save. So are you new here? Know what you did in those mines, but it no. A smile on face. Yeah, you've been I around. So happy. Okay, Aphia Velothi. Don't be put off by my husband's mood. He oh. enjoys having visitors. 
We can ask her about something else, but first let's say... I was told you can translate these letters? Of course. Of course. Wait two hours for the letter to be translated. Okay. I understand a temple curate has gone missing. It would seem so. Curate Melita's plea. Okay. What is this Be careful about? Out there. Oh, this is for careless curation. Okay. Well, we can read the plea too, With can't we? With the Ashbourne threat taken care of, I can give my men the rest they deserve. How about I this, dude? I can't believe you found a way to reopen the mines. I don't know hmm. how to thank you. Yeah, I'm not sure how we get access to this business here. Like, there's some way you can get access to Netch leather armor, I know for a fact. And I would love to do that and use it to level up our light armor until we move back to heavy. Alright. Let's go on down this way. We'll rest for the night. I think that's a good idea. It's getting a little late and we're getting a little sleepy. Okay, let's go for... How about 11 hours? That seems fine. There we are. Wonderful. Ah, and the translation is done, of course. <laughs> Look, I didn't do it for that. I, did, I wasn't even... You know, it, it completely left my mind. Well, as soon as we did that, I, I instantly forgot about it. I was like, all right, we'll just get an update whenever it's ready. Okay, so let's read the plea, I guess. Or should we... Hmm. You know what? Let's get started on the letters already. Let's get started on the fucking letters. Why not? Okay. Let's head on over here. Good. All right. Let's see over this way. Jesus, where have you gone? Oh, okay. I can't believe you You're over here at like, oh, not the bulwark or whatever, at Corellius's house. Okay. Hey. All right. Small don't place, but. you did in those mines, but it put a smile on Cretius's face. Hey. Don't be put off by my husband's mood. He enjoys having visitors. I can pass out those letters if you finish translating them. Thank you. Here, this is for you. Oh. Now, let's, um, not talk about this anymore. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, great. Let's see. Distribute the letters or give the letters to the reclamation priest. Oh, so we can still do spy work for them if we want. We can spy on them through... Oh, shit. How do we want to do this? Oh, fuck. Okay, here. Let's see. Let's read the propaganda, though, ourselves. Okay. You have lost the temple, but you are not lost. The right place exists in the wrong time. Know that when the great egg Bardal cracked open, from its rotten yoke spilled the dissident priests and heretics, full of lies and falsehoods that give shape to Othraloth and his rep reclamation. But in reality, the bile spewed by the lie rock cannot fool a minister of truth for long. The tribunal will rise once more, and the Grand Inquisitors will judge all from the beginning. For entry to our temple is in the ending of the words, Alm Sivi, fuck! Holy shit. Oh my gosh. I kind of love that there's another way you can play this. I kind of love that that's a fucking option. But I've kind of also at the same time convinced myself that my character is kind of an asshole, right? <laughs> if anything, you know, it's certainly in line with all the other shit we've had to do with regards to a lot of the Daedric quests, right? We simply are just not a nice guy. <laughs> We're just an asshole. Okay, let's see. So who do we distribute the letters to? Hmm. Just people around town or something? Is that it? Here, let's quick save in case I'm going to accidentally turn it in. You may. Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to distribute a letter right to this man. Wait, can I give one to you? No. Okay. <laughs> All right, great. Who do I give the propaganda to? Who needs to hear the good word? <laughs> or, or that? Who needs to know about the ending of the words? <laughs> How about you? 
Milor Inus. I don't Inus. know who sent you here, but you've given us something to build on here. I hope someday we can repay you for your kindness. Oh shit. Can you show this letter to your customers persuade? I'll pay you to show your patrons this letter. You're going to show this letter to your patrons. Intimidate, bribe, or gold. Or persuade. <laughs> bribe or gold. <laughs> huh. What should we do? I want to do intimidate. I want to do intimidate, right? This, If we're playing at being an ordinator, we need to do intimidate. You better do this, Milor Ineth. I need you to show this letter to all your patrons and get them to try and take some and, you know, just be into it in a major way. I need you to do this. And keep in mind... That if you decide not to, I'm watching you, scum. <laughs> Whatever you say. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I fucking thought. <laughs> oh, this is great. All right, hey. Your actions here have been a blessing to us all, Sir Joe. Uh, okay, you're not into the propagation. It's busier now that things are starting to look up. I guess I might stay a bit longer after all. Yeah, great. Now, <laughs> since you're staying. I need you to show these to everybody. Whatever you say. Excellent. <laughs> this is so much fun. I love this. All right. Cool. Who else? Oh, can we do it to the smithy as well? Hey, Glover Mallory. You've been a good friend to me. That means something. I need you to do this. Whatever you say. Yeah. All right. <laughs> it's notice this is not a question. I'm assuming the retching natch is our last stop, right? Okay. Here we are. <laughs> Wait, can we can we do the captain? Modin Veleth, captain no. of the Redoran Guard, at your service. Huh. Weird. Could we not ever? How come these are all lit up? Did they relight or something? What's that unusual armor you're wearing? Ah, uh, this is Bornwald armor. Quite impressive, wouldn't you say? It's fashioned from actual bone that's been reinforced with a resin-like material and then shaped to form the armor plating. It might appear brittle, but I'd wager it could stop the blow of a weapon better than iron or steel. Hell yes. <laughs> Weird that I ask him that question while I'm wearing some. Okay. Who are the Redoran Guard? All of the soldiers in this town are Redoran Guard. Some of the best warriors that House Redoran has to offer. I've spent quite a few years honing their skills, and I can assure you they're not just your average city guard. Great. Why have such elite soldiers in this on this island? To protect Councillor Morvane, of course. He has quite a few friends on the council back in Morrowind, and they wanted to ensure his safety while he was here. Other than that, I'm not at liberty to discuss it. Hmm. Wow, yeah, I don't think we ever talked to him about all this shit. How are things now that the mines are open again? I've had to muster some more men to protect the mine, but I don't really have a problem with that. Second Councillor Arano is concerned that <laughs> once fucking the world reaches the, this is Rallis, right? that the mine is reopened, they might think about paying us a visit. I say let them try. My men are ready for them. Is it difficult commanding the Redoran Guard? It can be. Even the most experienced warriors can fall prey to petty distractions. They usually didn't amount to much, but they make my job that much harder. Petty distractions? Some of my own men have become quite accustomed to a spirit they called Ember Brand Wine. Despise the stuff myself. It's powerful and tremendously addicting. I've seen men fail to finish even a single flask. If I knew where they were stashing the bottles, I'd put an end to it myself. Okay. Wow, do you want me to track down the stash? You would? would be helpful. I just don't have time to do it myself right now. Huh. That's wild. Yeah, remember, wasn't there a similar quest like this in the Blood Moon expansion for Morrowind? Right? The the guards were, like, hiding a stash of something or the other. Any idea where I can begin? Uh, they're too smart to have left it in the bulwark. I'd search one of the abandoned houses on the outskirts of town. Oh, wow. Okay. Sure. Find me that stash of wine. Hey, Rallis. Azura's wisdom to you. <laughs> Good to it's see you, fucking Rallis, you piece of shit. All right. Captain Veleth. Geldis. Welcome to the Retching Nedge so Corner sorry, Club, Geldis. home of the finest Sue Jammer that will you ever say? grace your lips. I need you to show this letter to everybody. Whatever you say. Good shit. <laughs> All right, Sarah. great. <laughs> Look, complete the tasks of the goddess. One of three. Excellent. 
All right. Let's see. What is next? I guess we can we read this uh, plea that we picked up. We can weed it too. Let's see. Items. Plea. There we go. Curate Melita's plea. Oh. Find the missing curate in Kagrenzel. Yo, okay. Priestess Velathi, you or whoever's reading this, I need your help. Well, that's a stupid thing to write. Of course you're reading this. You wouldn't be staring at a piece of paper and not read it, would you? Not unless you're illiterate or mad. Not angry mad, but I clip my toenails with a fork mad. You get what I mean. Point is, I think I've found it. The Mask of Sothasil in Kagrenzel. A dwarven labyrinth with a surprisingly high vowel count. It's high up on the Velothi Mountains. And you're a Velothi too! Funny how that works out. There's just one problem. I caught myself in some contraption and now I'm not sure where I am. We've decided to make camp here and have one of the mercs I hired find help. He can't write or read or put together a coherent thought. But that's why I'm giving him this letter. Really, I should have just taken the mask and left the orb. You'd think I'd know better than to fall to for a trap that obvious. But the orb was glowing and cute and looked kind of lonely. Side note, if you come rescue me, do not touch the orb. <laughs> right, this is the orb. This is the orb at Kagrenzel. Remember when we did find and touch that orb? <laughs> it's a great orb. All right, man, so this goes back to mainland Skyrim. Holy shit. Yeah, wild. All right, fucking A. Sure. Should we track down this other quest here? Should we track this? Track the veteran guards' movements after midnight? Maybe we do this because it might it may also lead us back to the mainland and we can get, you know, two birds, one stone, so to speak. Let's see. I've discovered a temple. Let's see. It seems the Temple Matriarch is searching for the lost masks of Vivek and Sothasil. Rumor has it that the mask of Vivek is being transported back to Morrowind. But an enterprising guard is looking to sell to another buyer. I should watch the bulwark for any guards leaving their post near midnight. Okay. Sure. Great. Well, where is that building with the, the wine? Should we go and get that real quick? How far off is that? Let's see here. Locate the hidden stash. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no, wait. Yeah, there it is. Oh, that's where we have to go meet them. Oh, okay. So it's not even in town. Okay, we can do that. Fuck it. We'll keep an eye out for an abandoned building that may have a stash of wine in it. There is one out this way, isn't there? Right? Isn't this where we saw, like, the equipment fly off into the fucking sky that one time? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go on down this way. Is it down here? Oh yeah, it fucking is. Okay. Shit. Alright, we're gonna take a quick look at this building. Just in case this is it. That has the secret stash. Good. Alright. Anything here that we can see? A secret stash of- Oh, look! Old Aetius Farm Cellar. It needs a key, though. Oh, what? That's gotta be the stash. We don't have the key, however. Hmm. Is it hidden here, or is it, like, on someone's person? Oh, shit! Oh, they're hunting the mighty Netch. We have come south to test our worth against the mighty Netch. Will you join us? <laughs> sure! Sure, I'll join. Yeah, why well not? Well met, friend. May we... Okay, here, let's equip our crossbow here. Why not? Boom. Okay. <laughs> Look at Jazargo joining in with the Netch Hunt. Look at you go, Jazargo. Good shit. Oh yeah, we need to be careful. I'm still wearing the weird cultist armor so as to not blow our cover. Alright. There we are. Look, this is a great way to level up our shit, huh? Look at all the arrows flying by, too. I think everybody's ranged except for that one dude. Yeah. 
Oh shit, he ain't gonna make it! Oh no, he was felled by the mighty Netch! Oh shit! I wonder if they'll say something different this time because one of them died to it. Oh no! Here, I'm taking these. Wait, you know what? Maybe I should take the Netch leather too. That might actually be more worthwhile. The beast was strong, but we were stronger. He wasn't. <laughs> we will honor and sing praises for the fallen. Ah. The beast was not the only one to fall this day. May the Allmaker welcome our brethren with open arms. Wow, that's amazing that there's voice line reactivity for if one of them dies or one or more. I wonder if they not say the something different if there's only day. one survivor the of the mighty Netch hunt. Our... Let's see. Can I take some of this? Horker meat? It's all uncooked, except for, like, the bread and the drink. Eh. We'll leave it. Okay. Sure. Let's head on over this way to our stakeout location. Or should we go inside of the bulwark to ask about the ember something wine? Maybe? I mean, we're gonna go right by it. We may as well. I don't, I don't think we're wanted up here, are we? I don't think so. At the very least, we could check their bodies. We could try and do a little pickpocket you action. Yeah, Who have it bad? Try walking the bulwark at night. Last time I rode Gyal's ship, I was even me guts for a week. Don't what are you gawking on water? Okay, let's go inside. Let's see. We need that key, though. If you need a ride back to the mainland, Jacqueline's the only way off this rock. Oh, look, what is this? Posted notice. Captain Veleth. How did he sound again? This is a reminder that Ember, Ember brand wine and other such contraband is off limits to all of you. Any guardsmen caught with items like this in their possession will be disciplined and subject to possible removal from the Redrant Guard. Captain Veleth. I think that was it. If you've got any gripes, check in at more than right. Second Counselor Arano will sort you out. Do we have anything else here? Any secret keys? Let's see. Let's flick on our light. Help us see some keys if there are any. If there is one, it's probably pretty well hidden, huh? Evidence chest is empty. Back this way. Got any keys? Oh look. There is a lockbox. Let's see. Can I manage to pick into it? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Good. Alright, and what have we got inside? Eh. Nothing that we need. Still, goodies nonetheless. Just none that we need in particular. Yeah, nothing. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure where to find the key. Hmm. I feel like we're on the right Dang track, though, with this this note. Maybe that basement isn't what we're looking for, though. You know? Maybe the basement is like a red herring. It's for something else. It really seems that way, though. That it's important for this quest. Oh, well. Let's head over to our stakeout point and do it. tolerated in the abandoned buildings. If you need a place to stay, head to the corner club. Ah. Because, and they don't want you squatting in there because they're hiding the booze. Gotcha. All right, I think we need to access the stakeout area from out here. Maybe there's more abandoned buildings outside. Like maybe there's one down. Oh shit! Oh shit! Double shit! Let's equip this. Ah! Yes! What? What? There's a note on it. Felsad, turn. <laughs> what? What are you- what are you talking about? <laughs> Note on the target? What the fuck? What? My sources tell me the courier in charge of carrying the mask is a reverend god. It seems, however, our god has plans of his own for the mask. He's arranged a meeting with a buyer after midnight in the cellar of the old Aetius farm. His greed angers the goddess. Dispose of them both, 
and return the artifact to her rightful hands. Oh shit, okay. So this was for me? From our people? This is from the, the cult? <laughs> Retrieve the note? I guess so. What? Really? Holy shit! Okay. Where am I supposed to go for this then? Is it on the actual bulwarks? Bulwark? Is it up top? It may well be. <laughs> I can't believe there was a note on that fucking bird! <laughs> I was just gonna shoot it for fun because it was so close to the ground. I can't... <laughs> Look! It was, it was meant to be! It was meant to be! <laughs> That's incredible! I had no fucking clue! <laughs> It was- I did it as if- it seemed like I knew I was going- like, what I was doing, like, I knew the- the solution or whatever. I was just doing it for fun! I, I had no idea there would be an actual fucking note! <laughs> That's incredible! Alright, well, let's go on up this way. There we go. Yeah, I think it's on the actual bulwarks ramparts, or the ramparts bulwarks? Whatever you call this. All right, let's spin on along. I could have fit in a few more words there. All right. Misery. I'll give you misery. Try getting a sign to scrape net scum off the front of the bulwark. <laughs> I do love that. All right. Hey. Are you? Glover Mallory is a wonder with a hammer and anvil. He did my armor like an old pro. Okay, sure. Well, let's wait here until after midnight. Twelve hours, I guess. We're gonna be a little fucking sleepy when this happens. Yep, there we are. And hungry. Okay, sure. Tracking the movements. We're on the case. I guess this is not the place where the... the, the wine is, though. <laughs> if, if, if this is actually for the... The Creation Club quest and all that, right? Must be. Alright. Look, he's none the wiser that we're up here. <laughs> okay. Good. Oh shit. Oh man, I fell. Oh jeez. Okay. Up here. Oh shit, yeah, you gotta go around the long way, don't you? Okay, okay. Let's follow him. Very neat that they added this basement to this other place. How big is this bit of Creation Club shit, right? Is this like one of the bigger ones? It must be. I don't know. As far as it adding in new assets and locations, right? Pretty impressive. Alright. It would have been cool if for the Anniversary Edition... I guess it would have been a logistical nightmare to get in touch with everyone and get all okayed. But it would have been cool if for Anniversary Edition they were able to get in touch with all the Creation Club people and, um... Have them, Counselor like, Morgan write the actual dialogue. And then Bethesda could have gotten back all the voice actors and called them up to have them record some lines and all of that. Right? It sounds like, as cool as that would be, it does sound like an absolute fucking logistical nightmare, right? Just in order to get everyone's okay on everything. Okay. And then you may also have to... Like, once once a creation club contributor gets involved that much in the process, I wonder if that also means that, like, they start to show up on, like, your payroll and stuff, and then that's even more weird paperwork or something. I don't know. It sounds complicated. Alright. Up and over this way. Yeah, we know where you're going. We could just pickpocket the key, I'm pretty sure, and go right over to the cellar. But what if something happens, right? What if something happens? Who knows now? Look, we killed a bird and it had a note on it. We just randomly killed one and it had a note. Anything's possible now. 
Anytime I see a bird now, I'm going to start wondering if there's some kind of secret thing going on with that bird. What a mystery. All right. Come on, dude. There we go. Yeah. Can't believe we're being so fucking stealthy like this. It's, it's absolutely wild. All right, let's do a quick save. Good. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go on in there. Oh, no, wait. Oh, thank goodness you didn't lock it behind you. <laughs> that would have been really funny if he goes in and he just locks it behind him. That would... <laughs> oh, look at this. The folly of man. All right. <laughs> Great. Ooh. What was that? Oh. Whoa! Chill! Are we okay to kill them? Good. Alright. Holy shit. Okay, they've got some health to them. Let's see here. Let's get some healing. And let's get our weapon out as well. Go. Eat a fucking butt, dude. Get him, Jazargo. Get him. There we go. Good shit. One more. Good. Alright. And the fire. All right. Wonderful. What have you got on you? Let's see. Rhetoran Guard's note, the cellar key. Let's read the note. For 20 years, all I've been is a loyal guard. I do what I'm supposed to, pay my taxes, and pray to the gods. They return me no favors. I pray for riches, and I get guard duty. I pray for a good woman, and I get more guard duty. Now I'm supposed to deliver this expensive-looking mask to the temple. Well, it's time I made my own luck. I'm selling this thing, the thing to this imperial I met at the Netch. I'm just... I'll just tell the priest the bloody mask got swallowed by a guar. So good luck finding it now. Twenty years, and I've never spoken a lie. I have no choice but to believe me. Wow. Huh. Okay. Sure. Interesting. I do wonder what this dude wanted with it. And why is this guy such a bad liar? I guess because he's never lied before in his life. So, so ergo, he must be a horrible liar because there is not a single guar on this entire fucking island as far as I know. <laughs> Right? If it got lost when it was in his hands, when it was under his protection, well, right? Once the tr once the uh, process, the shipping process, so to speak, got to him, a guar swallowed it? My guy, there ain't no guar out here. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> a better uh, excuse would have been it got lost when everyone on the island was being brainwashed and controlled by a Daedric prince. That's probably a better excuse. <laughs> All right. Buyer, what have you got? Ah, the mask. Right, it's the, like, mud ash mask at Nissus. This is it, isn't it? You could touch it, and it would give you, like, a cure all diseases and blight. Wow. Very cool. The mask of Vivek. And there was the... There was the fake one as well, right? That was on prominent display. Very cool. Yoink. Two gold rings as well. Oh, look! The Falbathar's Forge Gem. <gasps> oh my gosh. I'm taking it. Some wine and some leeks. I'll take the cellar key too. Very well. Buyer beware. 
<laughs> okay. Collect the dwarven forge gems throughout Solstheim. Oh, wonderful. Okay, what else is in here? We got anything else in this area? A little chair to sit at. Okay. A whole bunch of webbing, empty wine bottles. Sure. Okay. Turn this on. Nothing? Eh, nothing much. Okay. Man, still no lead on the wine. <laughs> the wine is harder to track down than the actual, like, fucking mask of Vivek. <laughs> okay. Fine. Well, at the very least, we know that that's not involved in it. Huh. Oh, maybe there's a stash out here. Hey, do you think it's in a fucking tree stump? <laughs> Alright. You think? Uh, it's possible. I don't know. Okay, it's probably... Is there actually an abandoned building in the city? In Ravenrock? There, I think there might actually be. And maybe that's where it's at. We'll check that real quick before we end things. Right? And you know what? I do need to look up how to get this net oh, okay. because it would be perfect for what we're doing right now. You know? Okay. Good way to get our light armor powered up a bit. Powered up a bit! Let's bring this up. Local map. Let's see. Bulwark. Ancestral tomb. Temple. Ratchet Netch. Abandoned building. Yes! Okay. Good, good, good. All right, let's go on over here. And is this it? Look, there's another fucking bird. Should I blast it? No, that bird's too high up, right? Okay. So this has got to be the stash. Stash has got to be in here. Nordmead, confessions of a skooma eater, some booze, Sujama and Mazde. All right. I got to take the Sujama. All right. Anything over here? Oh, shit. There's a guy in here, Rurns Lervu, and Browsa Drell. Oh shit. Okay. Where's the wine stashed at though? Salmon meat and salt. Is this stealing? No, I can just take that. Okay. Wow, more salt? Look, no secret wine stash, but yes, we have got a lot of salt. Maybe it's inside of one of these urns? A bunch of wheat? Juniper berries? Nah. Should we talk to him? Should we wake him up? Yo, wake up! You seen a secret stash of booze? Azura's wisdom to you, friend. How are things now that the mines are open again? Brazla's been nice enough to show me how to swing a pickaxe. She's an old hat when it comes to digging up ebony. I may not be an expert at it yet, but it's good to be back at work and have some coin in my pockets. Great. Okay. Farewell, friend. Browser? Look at me. I'm a different person. And I have you to thank for it. <laughs> why can we say, why should I pity you? <laughs> why can we say that? All right. How are things now that the mines are open again? Couldn't be better. The sections that are being opened up have revealed some huge deposits of ebony. Old Crescious has a nose for exactly where to dig. If they'd only listened to him years ago, the town wouldn't have been in such dire straits. At this rate, I'll be able to put a roof over my head in just a few months. Okay. Sure. Great. See you in the mines. It is fucked up that there's an abandoned house and people have to live in it, you know? <laughs> when they should, <laughs> right, you know, fucking housing crisis bullshit. What the fuck? All right, let's get on out of here. Yeah, I suppose in between videos, I will look up some information on how and where to begin this Netch leather situation. That way we can have that and be leveling up our light armor Netch situation, right? We can have that going on and get our light armor up because we're at like, what, 70 something? Let's, let me just do a quick check here. Yeah, 77. So we'll get that going on and then we can swap over to some of this fancy ordinator armor and all of that when we're done, right? Seems like a good plan, a good idea. All right, yeah. So when next we come back, we're probably going back to the mainland unless there's a very involved quest in getting Netch armor, right? Because I would love to get that and be leveling it and all of that. And not only are we just heading back to the mainland, 
but we're heading back to Kagrenzel of all places. Holy shit. Until next time, please take care of each other. <laughs>